Okay, hello you guys. We're going to do another tutorial here, and this one is going to be under here. So, like, if you want to find this, it's up here. If you don't see this up here somewhere when you're going home, uh, learn. If you don't see the learn, then you need to close out in the red right there, and you need to right click on this and say quit. So you'd want to put something like that. Okay. But since I see it, I'm going to go in here and you're going to find this by going right here. It says photo editing. You're going to go all categories. It's under creative effects right here. It says select and mask. So go under select and mask and it's going to remove and replace the photo background. This is what you want right here. So we're going to start this tutorial. Okay, and I'm going to make this size smaller, maybe one, just so you guys can see this in the tutorial here. Maybe I'll go 170, changing the size. You don't have to do this. This is just so that you guys can see it better. And we'll go like this and move this here so you guys can see this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, it says select the girl layer. So if we see this layer right here, it says girl. We're going to click on that one right there. And then it says choose select, which is right there, select up here. And then it go, says to select subject. And what this is going to do, it's going to select what it thinks is the subject a person so it works really good for if there's a clear uh, spot for who the person is it's going to do its best to find it and it's actually done a really good job now there is one issue here though in this photo when it does this it's having a hard time uh, with this spot right in here it says if there is a part of the lower tail fin that was not selected and we see it was not selected okay you will add it to the selection in the next step click next to continue so we see that is an issue and it says to click next because we're going to take care of that next now up here it says select the lasso tool if this tool is already selected click on another tool and then click back to this tool because Photoshop needs to know that you did this action. So when I click on here, when it's not selected, it knows I clicked on it. The next thing we're going to do is it says click the add to selection icon, which is this one from the left in this icon group. Now, since it's already selected, I need to go, I need to select a different one and then select it, although maybe not. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, when I select something like this, it's going to include that area now. So this is not included in the selection. See all this is not included, but when I go around it with this lasso tool and that tool at the top, and I come around it right there and I connect it, there, it adds it to the selection that's here already. So now, I'm going to click next and it says drag a loop around the part of the tail fin that is not like we did that. We did that already. We dragged it all around that. Click next. Now it says click the add layer mask icon to add a layer mask that hides the blue wall and reveals the part the photo of the stars underneath. So we see a layer right here, okay? So when we hit this layer mask, it's gonna be black. Whatever is black is gonna mask out this right here because this is selected. So we're saying Photoshop, don't, don't, don't mask this area. Don't cover up this area. Only cover up the area that's not selected. So when we hit this layer mask right here, it says add layer mask. We can see that it's like a little rectangle and a circle in the middle. When we hit that, what happens now, we can see right here. And it says it right here. It says you can see the layer mask 
that has been added to the girl layer. So on this girl layer, there's a, a, a black bar. It says the area that was not selected is filled with black, which hides that part of the layer, revealing the space image underneath. So we put this mask, that black part, all around this selection, right? And what that did is that it covered it up and allowed what's underneath to show. It's almost like we cut that out almost like, you know, but we didn't, we just, we just masked it. So now we can see that. So that's what you're going to do for yourself too. If that's in your, um, your own lesson there for my students is you're going to do the same example, but there is something important that I'm going to teach you too. In order to get a second layer here, this is very important in order, like I'm going to show you right now. So we would also though, for my students, when you're putting this up on canvas, since we don't have a lot of space, if that's where we're going to, if we're using canvas is, um, you probably already know this already, but we need to go to the biggest amount here. So we go to image, image size, and we look for the biggest number on the width and the height. And right here, the width is the biggest number, 1800 versus 1200. So we're gonna change this to 1000. It was 1800, it goes 1000. This, which says 1200, is now 667. So we're gonna go okay. And honestly, it's not an issue because we don't need a big image for the web for me to grade it. Then you would go to file, save a copy. It's very important you guys do this there. Know where it's going. Okay. I'm going to change this to change this to JPEG. And right here, I'm going to rename it. Now I'm not going to touch the dot in the JPEG, and I'm going to go rename this to remove and replace a photo background. And hit save here, and it's going in my downloads. I need to know where it's going, otherwise I will not find it. And six is probably fine for the web, otherwise I'd save it up a lot higher, but six is gonna be good enough. Okay, so now I can X out of this, and I'm gonna show you how to how to put one image on top of another image it's another tutorial but i i failed to show you guys that so let's just put in let's put a person in there so we're going to select this as the background okay that is the background i'm going to move this over here a little bit and we're going to add another photo on on top of this layer here now this has all kinds of other layers going on here, so we won't really worry about that. But I go file, whoop, make sure that I'm in Photoshop, file, place embedded. That's the key that you want to add another picture to this. And we're gonna go to wherever you have that photo. And for this one, I'm gonna put doesn't really matter what I put there. Let's just do this one there. Now, what I would do though, if I wanted to, I would hit, I'm going to make this picture. Actually, that looks good right there, that size. Maybe I'm going to move it. Let's put, this is kind of cool. Let's go like this. Now, the problem is, I'm going to hide everything except for this person here. So in order, I need to find out where that layer went. Um, but that's how you place another photo in there. Now, where did it go? There it is. This is the one. So if I'm going to I have this selected, I can go to uh, select subject did a pretty good job and so now I'm going to layer mask that and there is somebody hiding there so then I would change the size and that 
but that's how you're going to do your own okay add your own photo into something and that one actually works well so that's it hope that was helpful for you guys